Oz and all the other groups that have made this their number one priority for so long. Rob Strang is a guy I've known since 1985, and I think he's such a great guy that I married him. <laughs> he grew up in Scarborough at a time when there were fields and streams galore for kids to play in, and as a, and as a young chemical engineering student at Queen's University, his thesis was to produce ethanol from farm waste, and I think in another life he would have been a farmer, which is why a good piece of our backyard is a very large organic but very neglected organic garden. <laughs> Rob is a, an industrial hygienist. He does not do teeth. Um, <laughs> he moves all over North America visiting industries to check the workplace to make sure that workers are not exposed to hazardous materials where they work, hazardous chemicals. He first came to Dufferin County in the mid-80s with a bunch of friends. They bought Mansfield Outdoor Center, a thriving business still to this day, out exposing thousands and thousands of school children to the benefits of the outdoors and of nature. Um, we, moved to, uh, we moved from the city in 1988 uh, up to Mansfield with our kids. Uh, we lived in Shelburne for five years, and for the last 17 years we've lived in Orangeville. And this has been a fantastic place to raise our family. We came here for quality of life. We want to protect the quality of life of this area. Since 1999, Rob has been active in the Green Party. In the 2007 provincial election, he earned 16.3% of the popular vote, third best in the province. Today, he's deputy uh, leader of the Green Party of Ontario. He's the environment and resources critic. And once again, he's our Green Party candidate for Dufferin Caledon. Rob Strang. Thank you very much, Bernadette. Um, just uh, starting off with Mansfield Outdoor Center, it's run by a childhood friend of mine, Ken, Ken Mickaloo. Uh, we've, uh, we've owned it for 25 years, and in that time, over 150,000 students have gone through that outdoor ed center and been exposed to the environment, so I'm very proud of that. It's a very important to me and I think to our community, and the Pine River runs right through it. And of course, the Pine River is the river which would probably be most affected by this quarry. And although there's so much to say about this issue, um, just fundamentally, this project could just rip the heart out of our water systems of South Central Ontario. And it's just, it's just tragic. I think that the, the risks of this project, you know, eloquently outlined by Carl, you know, are all borne by the people who live here, and yet the benefits will all go to people who are unaffected, living far away. And, and I, I can't help believing that if the people that were investing in the company that's doing this actually knew what was going on, I can't imagine they would support it. So I'd, I'd really like to see them here today, just to be here and see it. I think things would be a lot different. But it's just so wrong at so many levels. Uh, and I think it illustrates the, uh, the need uh, for representatives with the vision and fortitude to see these things that, that might happen, see these risks coming along and prepare us to, to defend against them. And I think that we're so lucky to have here today Elizabeth May because she is one of these people with tremendous vision and incredible fortitude. And, you know, I feel that up till now, just dealing at the provincial level on this issue, it just looks like if this was a sports game, you know, we've got really bad defense, you know, and we're just being killed here. But <laughs> I, I, think, I think we just got... Uh, the Wayne Gretzky of, of uh, <laughs> environmental defense uh, on our team now, and it's it's really it's really enlightening uh, or uplifting, I would say. Um, so um, I'm just uh, I'm just so confident and pleased. I, actually, this is I think this is the most positive I've felt about this issue in a while to have Elizabeth here today because I know she is going to go and champion this issue at the federal level, which is so critical. It it might wind up being the way we win this, you know, and uh, and we're so lucky to have you, Elizabeth. Really appreciate it. <laughs> now, just at the provincial level, we just had an all, our first all candidates meeting uh, a couple of nights ago. It was uh, it was interesting. But what was most interesting was uh, the Liberal candidate made a point of saying that she didn't represent the platform of her party or her leader's views. Uh, it's kind of unusual for, but uh, 
you know, I, I, I could with total confidence come up and say that, you know, I am completely behind our platform, our, poly, our party's policies and its principles. I've looked into them before I joined the party. I've worked on them over the years, and I'm very proud of the platform that we put together. And in particular, I'm proud of our leader. He is a, uh, a brilliant person, intelligent, wise, um, practical, honest as the day is long, and of the highest integrity, and I am so proud to, to represent Mike and the party at, uh, throughout this campaign, and now to just introduce him to you now. Mike Schreiner.